Hello, this is Hawker Debian, and I'm here with SCP-1730, also known as, as Pesterbot. If you like the video, please leave a like icon, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, and maybe you can leave a comment down below. Probably not in that order, but at the order doesn't really matter now, does it? Anyway, let's get into the SCP article. Item number, SCP-1370. I think I got the numbers incorrect before. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1370 is locked in a fireproof glass display case, stored in Gallery 27. If the case becomes damaged by external circumstance, any container with dimensions of at least is 1.25 by 0.75 by 0.50 meters will suffice as a replacement to a new display case is available. The Ethics Committee recommends that any long-term storage case contain enough space for SCP-1370 to move freely. Level 2 personnel on hire may they remove SCP-1370 from Emmons' case at their discretion, but will play a disciplinary act action for failing to secure it properly afterward. Description SCP-1370 is a self-aware artificial being constructed from various electronic devices and tools. It stands approximately one meter in height and is capable of moving its articulated joints despite the lack of any power source or motors. SCP-1370 communicates in a monotone voice via a speaker mounted in its chest. Its head is a, is a volt meter soldered upside down to a neck joint, giving the appearance of a, giving the appearance of a friendly smile but containing no active sensory devices. However, SCP-1370 will react to visual and audible stimuli and its ability to do so is hampered when the head is covered or otherwise restrained. It appears to give more importance to aesthetic concern rather than function, as evidenced by a poor center of gravity that hampers its ability to balance and walk. It is therefore believed that SCP-1370 was created as an art object and later imbued with anomalous properties rather than designed with those in mind. It can currently speak fluent American English. All of the only difference between English between regions is literally how certain words are said. Anyway, American English, French, and Latin, and is capable of learning new languages. Artifacts of its electoral capacity have not been clearly outlined, as SCP-1370 is invariably hostile in all interactions with any being or object and it interprets as to be sapient. This includes, but is not limited to animals, foundation personnel, civilians, audiovisual equipment, and security cameras. <laughs> if SCP-1370 encounters an object it, be it believes to be sapient, it will attempt to engage our uh, object in combat while introducing itself with a variety of uh, elaborate tiles which appear to be selected at random. Examples include Doombot 2000, Rebel Lord the Destructor, Prime Minister or Sinister and Darth Clock Killaflex. SCP-1370 will often in include variations to these styles as based on responses it receives from personnel. The nation's staff have successfully introduced uh, Patsicon de Gargamus and Pesterbelt uh, to its lexicon. This SV is officially called Pesterbot for the sake of simplicity. Addendum. Many tests on SCP-1370's combat prowess have been run, each confirming that SCP-1370 lacks physical aptitude to cause damage to any living being. In test S-1378-239 exposed SCP-1370 to a common houseplant with a speaker hidden inside the pot's plant. After SCP-1370 was provoked verbally, it attempted to fold and twist the leaves of the plant within its grasp before incapacitating itself. See log that follows. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> Researchers L. L. Allens and T. Ibasam carry SCP-1370's case into the testing chamber. The case sat down on one meter from a potted plant and fellow Odendron fitted with a small speaker. 
Release me, insects! I am Doom Master 1370, a master of all doom! I shall be the herald of your destruction! Researchers leave the testing team where the case is opened remotely. Although no security risk is determined, the test requires SP-1370 to focus on the plant rather than nearby personnel. Observations are made via an OPEC glass window to prevent SP-1370 from attacking its own reflection. At last, I am unleashed each upon this earth, so deserving of destruction. All shall be erect within my Pinterest. All shall be drowned beneath my feet. I am Shivatron, the spoiler of mirth. Hello, can you hear me? SV1370, approaching the plant. Who dares? All oh, souls will burn. You will feel the sharp sting of my wrath. Identify yourself so that I may sing damnation upon you as you die. I am a split leaf philodendron, a semi woody shrub with large glossy leaves. These leaves can grow up to three feet long. SV1370 attempts to wrestle with the leaves. Your mockery spells your doom! I have arrived! You'll be crushed between my digits! SCP-1370 falls over is unable to write itself. After approximately 6 minutes, it knocks the pot over, which rolls into a position that pins SCP-1370's body to the floor of the chamber. Researchers enter to return SCP-1370 to its case. <laughs> okay. So SCP-1370 is pretty much just... No robot version of me personified. Talks a big game about being destructive, but is actually a kind of of, of just a meme. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the video, you wasted about seven and a half minutes. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.